Good afternoon. The jury in the trial of a man accused of the murder of an antiques dealer in Oxford has retired to consider its verdict. 42-year-old Adrian Greenwood, a rare books collector, was found dead at his four-storey home on Ifley Road in the city in April. He'd been stabbed. Michael Danaher denies murder. An inquest into the death of a grandmother from Hampshire has heard she fell from a bridge over the M27 while waiting for help from mental health workers. 74-year-old Marion Munn, seen here in the middle, ran away from her home after having a breakdown last November. Her family believe their concerns about her behaviour weren't taken seriously enough by the Southern Health Trust. The inquest continues. The government has confirmed it will announce its preferred choice for airport expansion in the south tomorrow. Heathrow is expected to be the winner, but Gatwick could also be allowed to expand at a later date. The decision will be subject to consultation ahead of a vote by MPs in 2018. An investigation is underway after a report that a suspicious man approached an 11-year-old girl while she was on her way to school in Southampton. She was walking to the Oasis Academy on Romsey Road when it happened on Thursday morning. A 49-year-old man has been arrested and bailed pending further inquiries. There's disruption for train passengers in Hampshire this week. Fareham Station is shut until next Monday. Network Rail are carrying out a £4.6 million project to improve rail lines in the area. The station building is also being upgraded. There are replacement buses between Southampton, Eastleigh and Portsmouth. More than 25,000 athletes have taken part in this year's annual Great South Run along the seafront in Portsmouth. The 10-mile race attracts some of the world's fastest athletes and raises millions of pounds for charity. Now, Sussex has featured in four of the Landscape Photograph of the Year awards. Brighton Pavilion at night, Beachy Head Lighthouse, Storm Imogen on the New Haven coast, and this, the winner, the picture of a crowd of starlings by Brighton's West Pier, all caught the judges' attention. Let's take a look at the weather now with all the details. Here's Simon. From puddles to paddling, driving through Europe, Eurotunnel the Shuttle sponsors ITV Meridian Weather. Well, it's all the seas today, cool and cloudy this afternoon, and nothing is really going to change. There are a few showers out towards the west, just sneaking in from the west, pushing their way slowly eastwards. Temperature-wise, though, well, 10 or 11 is a bit below average for the time of year. Now, those showers will continue on their journey eastwards as we head through this evening and overnight. A lot of dry weather around, lots of cloud too. It's north of the M4. You might find some clear spells developing, and that's where we could get a bit of patchy mist and fog. But thanks to the cloud cover, temperatures don't really drop below around eight or nine degrees so not the coldest of starts to tomorrow one or two showers first thing they'll fizzle away leaving us dry with a few bright spells developing later euro tunnel the shuttle sponsors itv meridian weather and don't forget you can join simon fred and me at six for more of the new sport and weather in the meridian region but from the lunchtime team for now thank you so much for watching we'll see you later bye bye